Coach, I guess first question, what have you seen from Texas A&M's uh, offense? And obviously they got a new quarterback that's starting to get comfortable now. Oh yeah, I mean, they're, they're exactly what's advertised, you know, and that's the reason they had a, I think they were a top five ranking going into last week. Uh, you know, big physical, run the football, obviously got an All-American tailback, tight end is as talented as one of I's that I've ever seen. Uh, and then really good speed and skill outside at the receiver position. Like you said, the quarterback's, you know, getting comfortable more and more. He can make all the throws. I mean, you see him throw wide field comeback or, uh, you know, throw the deep ball. They, uh, they, you know, they'll do it all. And they're obviously physical up front in the offensive line. So, uh, you know, they do a good job of mixing it up, run the ball down your throat, and then play action pass you and drop back game and explosive plays through the air. What did you see from when you watched the fan with LSU game? What, what kind of stood out to you about your defense? Good or bad? Yeah. Uh, Obviously, give up give up points on explosive explosive plays. That's kind of the name of the game of football right now. And if you don't, if you can limit explosive plays and uh, make a team operate all the way down the field, typically you have a good chance to get them off schedule and get a stop. And when you give up explosive plays, particularly when they end up in touchdowns, uh, you give up points. And obviously, we gave up a few too many. How much does Jalen Green embody the mindset of what you want on this defense with his like attacking violent mindset? Yeah, I think Jalen's like the rest of the guys, you know. Get more comfortable in the skin. Jalen, uh, obviously, him being his first year in it, it seems like he's getting more comfortable in it. Uh, but we got a lot of we got a lot of things to work on. Everyone on the defense, so we're trying to get those cleaned up because uh, we got to be better. How much has Aaron Odom added to that that DN rotation since he's got back in involved? Yeah, I know he's been playing you know D tackle for us. Uh, you know, getting in there, spelling Crumity, and uh, that's a Demonte got in there as well. So. We got a nice little rotation going up front. I think our D line is doing a nice job. They're they're playing awfully physical in the run game right now and uh, doing some the good, good stuff that disrupts the opposing with, offensive line. With Demonte, is it just a matter of, of getting those reps and experience? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, not playing last year, that's obviously a lot of a lot of valuable time. And then uh, we originally thought he might be a Sam linebacker when we first got here, uh, and then we transitioned back to D N, where we think is a little more natural position for him. And so, but he got in there and performed well and did some did some really good things. So we're excited about what he's showing. You mentioned that the running back they have, I said Spiller, obviously, it's pretty good. Uh, just <laughs> understanding that, uh, just with, with your run defense, though, it's, it's also been pretty good. Like, how, how do you feel that matchup can go in? Do you try to do anything to, I don't know, anything that you haven't done in the previous weeks or just kind of stay the course? Well, I assume they'd watch last year's game and saw they rushed for over 200 yards and probably sleep just fine at night going against us. <laughs> That play uh, in the secondary kind of looked like Sean Preston and Kyle Duncan got uh, mixed up with it in the breakdown that happened on that touchdown. Colin said yesterday that you know him and Sean had a conversation right away on the sideline, like talking about that. How important is that that some of those veteran guys hold themselves accountable before you have to say something? Well, I think it's you know anytime you got a guy running through the deep middle with no one around him, that's a pretty poor reflection of us as coaches. So uh, you know it's easy to it's easy to call out the players and and say there was a mistake there, but obviously we haven't done a good enough job of of coaching and getting it understood. So, you know, we're all in this together, but anytime you have a bust like that, you know, that's that's me responsible more than them. You had two healthy middle linebackers for the first time in a while, had Nate back. Uh, how, how was that rotation with him and Jet against LSU? Yeah, you know, we really rotated uh, Jet, Buki, and, and Brule. At, between Mike and Will, they kind of all three played both positions so we could uh, – Keep them fresh and have fresh bodies in there at all times. So that, that's the nice part about you know Jet and, and Nathaniel is that they both know both positions, all the assignments, so they can be they can be swing guys either or. And then as you get into the rhythm of the game, you kind of see who's got the hot hand and who's playing the best, and then you increase those guys' reps.